nursery. My name is Laura Emmett and I'm the nursery manager. I'll be showing you around virtually our nursery. Um, we have three core rooms, which is our baby room, our toddler room and our preschool room, and we'll be showing you around those. They're open from eight till six, but we can offer a half seven start or a 6.30 finish if you require it. So let's go through. Welcome to our baby room. So this is our under two section. As you can see, a very, very large room floor to ceiling windows which makes it look even bigger, really spacious, really airy and really bright. All furniture is at the child's level in here, so as you can see it's a bit smaller uh, than the average type of furniture. So this is just to promote the children from cruising, walking, all their physical development um, and also make sure that all resources are really easily accessible to them. We focus on three core areas which is their social communication, their communication and language and their physical development in the baby room, therefore we set up this room to help that. Over here, we have a really big um, creative and physical area. Um, so sometimes it's set up for physical play, sometimes it'll be set up for creative play. It all depends on where the children take us on that day. So we really focus on the children's interests and what they're interested in, and that's how we plan our days out. A slide here, really great tool for physical development. They can climb up, they can slide down, they slide up, however they want to use it, they can. We're really lucky in the baby room to have a separate sleep area, as you can see in here. Um, we follow the child's routine, so whatever kind of sleep routine they have at home, we'll try and mirror it here as best as possible. As you can understand, some routines do change a little bit once they're at nursery, but we do try and stick to it home routines as much as possible to keep them as comfortable as possible. We have three types of sleeping, so we have cots, we have coracles over here, and we also have sleep mats. And that all depends on the age and stage of the child as to where they sleep. If your child needs a bit more comfort rocking or just a bit of physical touch while they're sleeping, then we'll promote all that as well. We follow the safest sleep policy, so the children are monitored at all times while they're sleeping, and we make sure that they're all in safe sleeping positions when they are sleeping. This room, we're very lucky to have a kitchen um, where we can prepare bottles and prepare snacks, etc, etc. Um, and we also have a nappy changing area where we provide nappies, wipes, creams for all the children in the nursery. So this is our baby room. Um, as you can see, really lovely, bright, spacious room, uh, lots of opportunities for fun play. Um, and next, uh, Miss Jordan, my deputy manager, will be showing you around toddler room. Hi, my name's Jordan and I'm the deputy manager of Beaumont House Day Nursery and welcome to the toddler room. In this room, um, the children move up when they're two and then they move to the preschool room when they are three. Um, a little bit like the baby room, everything's at the children's level, but in this room we have chairs out because the children are a little bit older and they're able to sit down themselves. And we have a, lots of cosy areas, um, books for the children to pick up independently. We have a famous tent, which all the children love in here. They love going in here and relaxing, picking up different torches, and just having lots of fun and relaxing. Um, and here is um, the understanding the world area. We have lots of different animals, uh, lots of different people in the small world. We like to focus on the real world and what is going on in the real world. So at the moment we have lots of different fire engines and firemen and fire station because this is what the children have been interested in. This also links to the construction area where the children are really able to um, focus on their fire motor skills and build different towers. Um, here is the role play area where the children can act out what they see at home. They're really interested in babies and pushing babies around. They have a very nice caring side to them. Like the baby room, we have um, the physical area. We have the slide, which the children are walking up and going down and walking up the slide as well. And now we enter the creative area, which we share with the preschoolers and we set up different activities um, for the children to express themselves and draw whatever they're feeling. All of the art materials at the children's level. We have different paints for the children to choose from. So everything's child-led, but we do set up activities based on the children's interests. Now, welcome to preschool room. This is our final room on the tour, and this is for our three plus until they go to school. So our main focus of learning in here is just making sure that we are really building them up as their own individual self to ensure that they're ready for that next stage when they go to school. Uh, we want them to have as much fun as possible in their early years um, because this is when the fun really, really happens. Um, and when they go to school, they really can then learn those special skills. Um, I'll take you over to Jordan, who can show you about the areas in the room. 
So over here we've got the role play area, which is um, the preschooler's favourite area, I would say. We really learn a lot from the children here. They make different foods um, for their friends and the teachers, and we learn a lot about their home lives. Um, they also do a lot of role playing and dressing up, and it's really good for their independence because they put on the costumes themselves, and then they talk about where their mummy and daddies work. Um, at the moment, they're very interested in mummies and daddies working from home, so we've got a little office area as well in the role play area. And then over here we've got the construction area. It's really good for the, um, the preschoolers to build their own houses. We also bring maths into it as we count how many blocks they're using. Um, as you can see, we set up lots of different activities based on the children's interests. Um, Again, we've just got lots of different resources based on the children's interest. Um, all of our resources are based at the children's level, so as well as us setting up activities, they can get out what they would like. And also, they're very opinionated at this age, so they like, I want this out, I want this out, can we do this? And we, that's how we base our activities and we extend the activities based on the children's interests. Um, and like all rooms, we've got a cozy area over here. Uh, we've got lots of different books for the children to read. And they read to each other and to us. Each day in the preschool room, we start our day with affirmations. I am strong, I am kind. Um, and it's really good for the children to have strong self-esteem. At Beaumont House, we have an on-site kitchen where our chef prepares fresh meals for the children every day. We do a dry breakfast of cereals and dried fruit. Um, and then lunch is a hot freshly prepared meal and then tea is just a light tea sometimes can be cold sometimes will be warm we operate on a three-week rolling menu and um, which has changed throughout the season so that children get a variety of different meals throughout the year and um, sometimes we experiment and try new meals out to see if the children like it um, but yeah we also cater for all different dietary requirements and make sure that all meals are inclusive to all children Thank you for watching our video tour. We really hope that you liked to see our spaces. Um, if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call or pop us an email um, and ask for myself, uh, Laura or Jordan, and we'll be happy to help you. And really hope to invite you in to visit us soon.